Eagle story. The story of this kid off on summer break, maybe about 12, 13 years old, and he lived out in the hill country. And one morning he decided to pack up early, pack up a lunch, take a little picnic, go off to the hillside, and view his most favorite, favorite creatures on the planet, which were the eagles. And he packed up his binoculars, he packed up his, his peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he got a blanket, and he went off on his way. He was maybe about 10 minutes away from his house. When he got to his area, he laid out the blanket, and he sat there, and he's looking at the eagle soar through the air. And he started eating his sandwich. And at that moment, he notices this one eagle swoop down. So he put down the sandwich, he got his binoculars out, and he's looking at this eagle amazingly pick up this prey. And he couldn't see what he picked up, but he knew that this eagle picked up something that it was about to eat. And as this eagle picks it up, and it soars back into the air, and it's gliding majestically through the clouds, the boy notices something. He notices a struggle happening in midair. And after about 20 seconds of this struggle, he notices the eagle get limp, his wings just lit out, and the eagle comes tumbling to the ground. And there was a big smash. Immediately, the boy puts down his binoculars, he runs to go see what happened. His most favorite creature on the planet has just fell to the earth. He gets to where the eagle has landed, and he, he's just a little scared to touch the eagle, so he gets a stick, and he turns the eagle around carefully, and he notices something frightening. You see, the eagle had picked up this, this animal called a weasel. And when you start looking at food chains and stuff, you gotta understand, scavengers are usually somewhere close to the end because they pretty much eat whatever. They're real low, lowly animals. And that's what the weasel is. And this little weasel, who would be no match for an eagle, started eating away at the eagle. So as the eagle was flying with his prey, the prey was eating away at the heart of this regal, majestic animal. And it killed it instantly. At that point, the boy starts crying. And he says to himself, he could have just let it go. You could have just let it go. Why didn't you just let it go? You see, a lot of us, we, we latch on to things throughout our lives. And we, we carry them with us, not realizing that they're eating away at our heart. They're eating away at our soul. And sometimes these things come in the form of habits. Sometimes these come in the form of beliefs. But we need to understand that sometimes the things that happen to us early on in our life, we don't have to carry them with us. We have to just let it go. Just let it go. I remember hearing uh, Wayne Dyer, uh, I actually watched one of his movies called Making the Shift. And he talks about a lot about this idea, this notion, that sometimes the rules that we have in the morning of our life will not serve us in the afternoon of our lives. And a lot of us, we're carrying around these rules and we keep doing things the way we've, all, we've always done them, not realizing that they're eating away at us. I also read by one of my, one of my mentors, Anthony Robbins, he talks about, a foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. You see, for a lot of us, we have this idea that we can't change our mind, that we have to be consistent, we have to stay stuck. If we said we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it. But we need to understand that things change. We must be willing to adapt, and we must be willing to let go of things that no longer serve us. So take this advice, let it go, so that you can grow.